guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I do have a shopping haul for y'all. It's a Tuesday morning home goods shopping haul. But before we do that, Mumu just, she, she got to get comfortable back there. But before we go to the, the goods, um, I have a short little, well, kind of short story time. Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm such a mess. Okay, so I had some Christmas pillows that I had bought back in December, bought them at Home Goods, And you know how it is when you're decorating for anything. Um, you, you know, you have to try it out and see what you think. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, these particular pillows did not work. And there was two of them that, that just, I just ended up not needing. So I put them in a bag and I put them in Scott's office and forgot about them. Well, the other day I saw them and I'm like, oh gosh, I need to take those pillows back. Well, Home Goods is always so, so good about returns. Um, and I was glad because I couldn't find my receipt, but I had left the tags on them. I hadn't taken the tags off of them, so I wasn't worried. I thought, they can just give me store credit because honestly, there was a couple things I was looking for. So I thought, I'll just take these back and, you know, okay, so. All I was going to do is return a couple of pillows and I was looking for some um, more mats. I was looking one for my back door and actually a new rug for my kitchen because the one I had in there is pretty worn out. So after Christmas, I didn't want to put the old one back in there. All right. So <laughs> I promise I'll get to it, y'all. So I go to, I go to Home Goods, have my pillows. I get in line. I get up there and I'm like, yes, I need a return, but I don't have my receipt, but the tags are on it and I'll just take store credit. No big deal. And she's like, Oh, well, we, we can't take those back. And I said, oh, no, really? Y'all, I mean, I guess I could look for my receipt, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to find it. And she said, oh, no, it's not the receipt. It's that it's a Christmas item. We don't take returns on Christmas items. I said, since when? She said, that's just our policy. You know, we clearance all of our Christmas items out, and so we don't take returns. And I said, um... Okay. I said, how is a customer supposed to know that? I said, because no one made me aware of that when I bought these Christmas items. Was it fine print on my receipt that I was supposed to read? <laughs> was there a sign I missed? You know, I said, because I know that the cashier didn't tell me. I said, because had she told me, I probably wouldn't purchase home decor from you because home decor, you really have to get it home, try it out and decide if you want it. And, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I would have never bought anything that I couldn't return if I needed to. And uh, she said, oh, well, I, I, I don't, I don't know. And I said, well, I, I know you don't make the policies. You know, it's, I'm not upset with you. I just, you know, that's, that's, y'all really should let us know. And so I said, do you have a manager I could speak to? And so she came over and, you know, she went through the same spiel. And y'all, it just wasn't setting well with me because I thought I have shopped with Home Goods for a long time and they've always been so good about returns. And I thought that just doesn't seem right. You won't take returns on Christmas because we clearance it. Everything gets clearanced eventually, you know, so that, that just didn't make sense. So I asked the manager, the store manager, I said, I'm not trying to be difficult, but this just does not set well with me. I said, do you have a district manager I can call? Is there someone I can talk to basically above you on this? And she was very nice and she said, yeah. So she gave me uh, the name of the district manager and gave me a phone number and I said, all right, thank you. And I wasn't ugly, but I was, she could tell I was not happy because I, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I, I was very blunt with her and I just told her, I said, if this has become y'all's policy, then I won't be shopping with y'all at Christmas. I said, because that's, yeah, this is home decor. You got to get it home and be able to try it out. You have to have the freedom to return something if it doesn't work. Now, because I didn't have the receipt, I would have been absolutely fine if they would have said something like, you know, our, our Christmas goes on sale 50% off. So that's all we're going to be able to give you back. And I would have been like, okay, that's my bad because I, I lost the receipt. But they didn't even offer that. Even if they had said, we don't have any place to store it, you know, because we're home goods. It's not like a traditional store. Um, so you can start returning Christmas stuff in October. I'd have been like, okay. And I'd have just stored them away until then. But the no returns on Christmas deal, that got me. So anyway, so I'm getting to it, y'all. So I, I went ahead. I went in the parking lot, got back in my car and everything. And I called the number. 
and the girl I talked to, the girl I needed to talk to wasn't available. So I left a message and explained to the little receptionist the whole situation. She said, okay, I'll have someone call you back. I said, okay, thank you. And I thought, I'll be honest y'all, I thought, dang, I'll never call me back. So I thought, well, I still need floor mats. So I'm going to run, <laughs> so I'm going to run over to Tuesday morning. I love Tuesday morning. Love, love, love Tuesday morning. So I go over there and found a lot more than floor mats. Um, you know, doormats rather. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of what I'm going to show you. But then I get in the car and I'm headed home because I'm thinking, okay, I'm never going to hear from Home Goods. And they called, y'all. <laughs> she actually called me back and she said, I want to apologize that you experienced that at the store. They are misinformed. Please take those pillows back. They have to um, take them back. And I said, do I need to say anything? Do I need to, you know, and they're like, no, you just take them back. And if they give you an issue, tell them they need to call their district manager. And they gave me her name. And I said, okay. So I head back over to Home Goods, y'all. I get back in line and um, I get up there and it's a different cashier and she's real sweet. But as soon as she sees it's Christmas, she starts to go into the whole spiel. And I said, listen, I said, I was already here once and this is what happened. I explained everything. And she was like, oh, well, let me write all this down so I can give it to my manager. And oh, okay. So she's trying to find something to write on. And about that time, another manager walks up. It's not the same one I was talking to. It's another one. And she walks up and as she walks up, the cashier says, um, we've got a situation here with these Christmas pillows and I wanted to, and she, and the manager looked at the pillows and went, just take the return, just take the return. And she said, oh, okay. And then she walked away and I thought, I think a district manager called them <laughs> and said, cause I told him which store it was. And I'm thinking she called and said, what are y'all doing? I, I don't know, honestly, what she said, but I think they, they got a little trouble. So anyway, <laughs> because then, you know, she gave me the return and I went and did some shopping at Home Goods. I love Home Goods. And so anyway, moral to my story is this, always be kind, even when you're irritated. Um, stay calm, stay calm. That That's a good thing. And advocate for yourself. If something doesn't seem right, it's okay to lodge a complaint. As long as you're respectful, it's okay to, you know, go above somebody's head. You know, it's just like in a restaurant. If somebody, if you order a medium well steak and they bring it to you bleeding, you're going to send it back. That's not being rude. That's just advocating for yourself. Hey, I wanted this and I got this. You know what I mean? So anyway, I ended up shopping at both you guys and found some amazing things. So, you know, all, most of my videos are either, you know, Optavia related or um, clothing, let's be real. And that's because when I first started this channel, I had just lost, I had just lost that 60 pounds. And so clothing was what I was really having so much fun with. But I'm going to tell you, honestly, my first love, my favorite thing is home decor. I love to decorate and to redecorate and to refresh and to change things out and all the things. Love it, love it. I went through a phase, you guys, when Scott and I were mar first married, and it lasted for a while, to where <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money to, like, redecorate. You know, not that we have a lot of money now, but we have more than we did then. Um, so the way that I, you know, redecorated is I would rearrange the furniture all the time. I would rearrange things. I'd rearrange my knickknacks. I'd, re, you know, Scott would come home and he'd go like, okay, it's different. Uh, okay. You know, and they, my kids and him, they always joked about, they never knew what they were going to walk into. Mom doesn't move the furniture again. But anyway, so yeah, I love, love, love to decorate. All right. So let's get in here. All right. I was looking for floor mats and I keep saying floor mats like it's like for a car. Door mats is what I was looking for. But I was also looking for, I wanted pasta bowls. You know what I mean? Pasta. I bought my son and daughter-in-law dinnerware and cookware for Christmas. And part of what I bought them were some pasta bowls. And I was like, oh, I love those. I want those. They'd be good for pasta. They'd be good for salads. We've got two that are kind of like this, but just two. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun, you know, to set a table with pasta bowls? So look what I found at Tuesday morning, y'all. They're called dinner bowls. To me, they're pasta bowls. And look at the color, y'all. Aren't those great? It was two, here, I'm gonna open them. 
two for $10.99. And these are heavy, you guys. Heavy, heavy. They're uh, dishwasher and microwave safe. Look at them. Perfect for pasta. And wouldn't that make a cute table? Mm-hmm. That make a cute table. Like if you're having company over and doing a spaghetti and meatballs or a spaghetti squash and meatballs or palmini noodles and meatballs, that's what I do. <laughs> well, and what got me thinking about it, we, um, our priest came over actually last night and we thought we were going to be able to have time for dinner, but he ended up having something he had to go do. But in thinking ahead, I was thinking, ooh, maybe I'll just do a big pot of meatballs, you know, in the crock pot, let that cook all day, and do something easy like spaghetti and meatballs that I could just use my little palmini, you know. So that's kind of what got me thinking. I was like, ooh, I need, to, I need some pasta bowls. He ended up not being able to stay for dinner, but I still got cute pasta bowls. Got three sets, so I would have six. Tuesday morning. What else did I get it Tuesday morning? Oh, I found one of, I think this is the one I'm going to use in my kitchen, you guys. It's kind of big. It's really probably too big to put at my back door, but isn't it pretty? It reminds me of one of those uh, Ruggables, which y'all, hey, have y'all ever used Ruggable? You know, you know what I'm talking about when I say Ruggable? They're washable rugs. I mean, even like big ones, eight by tens, nine by twelves that are washable because it's like a, you know how you have a coverlet for your bed? You know, it's real thin and it just kind of covers over like a down comforter or something that's something easy to pull off and throw in the wash. It's the same kind of idea, but it's with rugs. I'm seriously thinking about saving my pennies and getting one of those. It'd be so nice to be able to throw them in the wash. Um, so anyway, this is kind of the look of a lot of theirs. And so it kind of caught my attention. But I think I'm going to use this in my kitchen, like right in front of my sink area. Isn't it pretty? And it was a very good price. It was only $24.99. Let me see if I can. Well, here's, here. Can you see that picture? Isn't that pretty? There's, I know there's a glare because of the wrap. But I think you get the idea. Now something for outside from Tuesday morning. So I have a black front door, black and white check planters, and a black wicker chair that sits on my front porch year round. And then I just kind of decorate around it. Is it right set up? No. <laughs> Y'all look. It's kind of um, seersucker. That's what it feels like, seersucker. And it's black and white. And I know it's probably not meant to be outside, but it was with the indoor outdoor stuff. And you know, let's see. Yeah, it is, look, indoor outdoor. Okay, so it was $16.99. I'm just gonna set that right there in that wicker chair right by my front door. Isn't that cute, y'all? All right, then they had all of their spring and Easter stuff out. Now, I'm not ready to start decorating for Easter, obviously. And when I decorate for Easter, I do a twofold, kind of like I do for Christmas. So when I decorate for Christmas, yeah, I got Santa out there. I got all of the, you know, little fun things that children like and the little things we, we do with our children and grandchildren. But then I also have, you know, nativity and, you know, thing like that, you know, for the actual true reason for the season. Well, I do the same thing with Easter. I kind of do both. So this one's more for the what the kids love. But it's also just kind of spring, and that's what I loved about it. One is definitely Easter, and one is more just spring. So here's the spring one, y'all. <laughs> Seriously, it's fuzzy. Oh my gosh, it's like all embroidery. So this is something that's just for looks, not practical. So here's the thing, the the towels, cup towels, dish rags, whatever you call them, kitchen towels that I hang on my stove. Those are just for looks. That's just cute. The ones that I actually use, I usually have a um, the kind that snap on to things. I have my uh, goddaughter Ava, she makes them and I need some new ones to where that you can hook them on to like kitchen door, uh, kitchen drawers and so forth. So I usually have a couple of those hanging for just wiping off, drying off your hands and that kind of thing. So these are not necessarily to be used. Now this one back here, I would use it practically, but not this one. Isn't it cute? Aren't they cute? Look, I love this on the bottom. Oh my gosh, seriously. All right, this, I think they're $7.99. Yeah, $7.99 for the set. This is, we're still at Tuesday morning. Now this is definitely Easter. It says, Happy Easter. Oh my gosh. 
so stinking cute. Green and white gingham. Yeah, they saw me coming. $7.99. So at Christmas, I always swap out my everyday dish towels that I keep in my drawer that I actually use um, for my Christmas ones. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. Um, so this year when I did that, I realized a lot of my everyday, you know, year round dish towels were looking pretty rough. They weren't looking too good. So I got some new ones. Look, I love them. I love them. I love this. I'm really, I'm really, this has always been a color I like. You know, any shade of kind of a blue, blue, green, robin egg, Tiffany blue. Well, look at this what I'm wearing. Um, all that kind of color. I've always loved that color. But here lately, I'm really getting drawn to it again. Aren't these cute? And they were $7.99 for three. And then I like this too. The one of them in there is got a little gingham check, and then the other are striped, and also three for seven ninety nine. Now, this is something I use all the time: drying mats, drying mats. Um, I, and I change them out, and I go through them quite a bit. Um, I always have a drying mat sitting next to the kitchen sink, just for quick rinses. Like I have one to three cups of coffee a day. Um. Two of those are decaf, so don't think I'm a caffeine addict. I just love coffee, especially in the winter. So instead of washing three coffee cups, I just rinse and put it right there on my drying mat. Um, Scott and I both, a lot of times, will have a shake during the day. So we just rinse that thing out real good, put it on there to dry. So there's things that we use over and over throughout the day. So I like having a drying mat. And so this was two drying mats for $7.99. Okay, so far, everything I've shown you is things I actually needed or could use. These next two things I'm going to show you, I so don't need, but I just really liked them. These next two things, like I said, I don't need them, but I wanted them. <laughs> and if I can't find a good place for them, if they don't work, I actually asked Tuesday morning, what is your return policy on these items? <laughs> just to be safe. All right. Like I need more pillows. My husband hasn't seen these, but when he does, he's going to be like, seriously, we need a whole room just to store my pillow fetish. I don't know. I haven't found a good, um, a lot of y'all have told me, just do pillow covers, just do pillow covers. I haven't really found a good source for buying pillow covers. I've bought some like on Amazon. I'll be honest, they, I just, I don't usually like them. The, I don't know. I, I haven't found a good... So, if you've got a good place that you buy pillow covers, like in all sizes, let me know. I'm going to tell you what... Hang on, let me just sit right here for a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking about doing. You know, last year, I bought a sewing machine because that's what I do. I get something in my head and I'm like, I want to learn how to sew. I'm going to go buy a sewing machine. So, I did. It's still sitting in my guest room closet. I haven't used it yet. But I told my daughter, who also has a pillow fetish, I said, you know what we need to do? We need to make pillow covers. So that, because, I mean, how hard could that be? You know, it's just, you know, you just couldn't be that hard, right? So anyway, so I that's my next project, is to find a good pattern for pillow covers. And then me and my daughter are going to try our hand. I told her, I said, the most difficult part is if it has a zipper. You know, putting in a zipper will probably be the, the hardest part about it. But there might be some, you know, patterns out there where you don't have to deal with a zipper. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But until then, look at this beautiful color, y'all. They're kind of velvety. And they're lumbar shaped, which I don't have a lot of pillows in that shape. And y'all, I could use these in a lot of places. My room is very, very neutral. My bedroom is very, very neutral. But, you know, here and there, I definitely have this color in that room. Um, this room, actually, had, could this, this color could work, but I don't really know where I'd put them in here. This also would work in my living room on my couch. And that's kind of where I'm leaning is the living room on the couch. But aren't they pretty, y'all? And they're soft. And I just love that. I just I just love that color. Love, love that color. Okay, and two of them were only, that's how I always tell Scott, they were only, I'm, I don't know why I don't put my glasses on, $24.99. All right, this next thing I really did not need. 
And in order to use it, I'm literally going to have to get rid of something. It's a lamp. It's a little lamp. Um, I have an idea where I might use it. Hold on. They really bubble wrapped it up for me. I have an idea where I might use it um, because the lamp that I have there, it, it's really not working. It's I've always struggled with it. But first of all, this is the base. It looks like wood. It's very chunky, which I love that look. Um, it's got some whitewash on the wood. And then here is the lamp shade. Here, let me put it together. All right, so here it is. Isn't that cute? I, I didn't take this off. I love this lamp, y'all. And it is, how much is it? Hmm. Uh oh. I think the price tag came off. Oh, wait, there it is. I was going to say, I remember. Yeah, $34.99. Yeah, $34.99. It was on the lamp. I was like, oh dear. But no, yeah. Isn't it cute? Love it. Oh, it is so cold here today, y'all. Is it cold where y'all are? We're having a, we're having like winter. Well, winter for Texas, but I'm loving it. Okay, so I was done. Tuesday morning, finished, great. Headed home. Phone rings, home goods. Okay, let's go back. And so what did I do? Could I just walk in there and return my pills? Oh, heck no. Had to walk around, had to look a little. Not in by a whole lot, but I did buy a few things. All right, so that one rug was from a kitchen, but I still needed something for my back door. And I just wanted something, yeah, I, I wanted something honestly with a little bit of texture so that when we walk in and out, you know, it might take a little bit of the dirt off our feet. Um, but I, and I wanted it neutral, um, durable, because the dogs come in and out, in and out, in and out a lot in that back door. So this is kind of a jute rug, but it's dark. And that's what I liked about it. It's very dark. And so I'm going to put that at my back door. It'll, whoops, I just hit my camera. It'll probably blend right in with my floor, but that's okay, because this is really more about practical than decorative. I had to check the price. It was only $19.99, y'all. So yeah, got me a backdoor rug. All right, so <laughs> as I, you know, I put away Christmas and started putting um, my regular, de you know, decor back out, I changed things up a little here and there and realized I had a couple of holes here and there for things that would just complete it. You know, just that final touch. That's what my mother-in-law used to say. She used to say, it just needs that final touch. So that's what these pieces are about, that final touch. All right, so in my room on my dresser, um, I have a little, I don't know, vignette, um, little cluster of things, you know, I don't know what to call it, you guys. It's a picture frame that my daughter, it's all about my daughters. Uh, it's a picture frame of my daughters, um, me and my daughters that they gave me a few years ago for Mother's Day. And then they gave me this year for Christmas, one of those willow tree figurines. And it's a mom and her two daughters. And one daughter is obviously younger than the other. And so it was perfect. And so I've got that there, but it needed, you should always decorate in threes, you guys, or odd numbers, threes, fives, that kind of thing. Well, I've got a lamp there too, so that could be three, but I just felt like it needed a little greenery, but I didn't want to put just a, you know, greenery pot. Look how sweet this is, y'all. It even says love, with love, with love. So it's, it's kind of perfect for that little vignette. Isn't that cute, y'all? And I'm sitting here thinking, I actually got this at Tuesday morning. I'm still on Tuesday morning, y'all. Okay, so the rug over there was from Home Goods, but this I'm remembering. This actually came from Tuesday morning. Okay, it was five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Isn't it sweet with little flowers? All right, then you know my um, figurine that Scott gave me last year on uh, I think it was for Mother's Day of Mary with the little children praying. I think I showed it to y'all. It's so pretty, you guys. I absolutely love it. And um, I normally have a candle sitting there on that um, piece of furniture that that sits on. 
And I just, I've put different candles there. And I use candles for two things. I use candles for aesthetics, for to look pretty. Um, I also lose, use candles because I like the way they smell. So I've had a hard time finding a candle that looks pretty and smells good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and for this particular place, I really do want it to look pretty. So look at this candle holder. Isn't that beautiful? It's like brass kind of kind of brushed brass, brushed gold. I don't know what you'd say, but it's it's not like shiny, shiny, but there is some shimmer to it. It looks old almost. And I don't know what the scent is, what it's called. Hang on, but, oh, it's coconut. Coconut milk mango. I was gonna say, I don't know what the scent is, but it smells almost a little beachy to me. So yeah, that smells wonderful, smells wonderful. So I got that to put there. It's $9.99. And you know, after I put some of this stuff out, I may walk around, do a little video showing you the different things or take pictures and put it at the end of this video. Because that's, you know, that's the thing. I've watched like people open up home decor or even do home decor boxes and they show the pieces and then I'm like, but, but, but I want to see where you put it. I, I, I want to see what'd you do with it. <laughs> so I don't want to leave y'all hanging. I'll put it out and see what y'all think. Okay. I think... Okay, I think that is everything at, at uh, Tuesday morning. Now, for real, for real, going to Home Goods. So, along the same lines of needing fillers, one of these I do need, one I just liked. So, I have a tiered tray in my um, laundry room that holds um, like my overflow wallflower plug ins. Um, wax melts, almost smell good stuff, room sprays. It's practical, but you know me, I, I want it to look pretty. <laughs> so it needs, it needed something. It needs something. And you know, I'm not really sure what else to put in there. Um, I've decorated it before, but for some reason I can't find the stuff I used or maybe I've used it in other places, which is probably what it is. But look at this. I liked the basket as the pot. I thought that was so cute. And the greenery is actually really pretty. Really, really pretty. And this came from Home Goods for $16.99. I really like it. And then I got another one. And I don't know which one I'm gonna use in that tiered tray. Um, and I may just use this one, um, I don't know, maybe in a bathroom. It's the same kind of look, but it's more just the monkey grass. That's what I call it, monkey grass. But I love, love the basket as the pot. Isn't that cute? It's cute. Okay. I always think uh, greenery warms up a room, even if it's not real. You know, now if, if you've got a green thumb, which I do not, um, then real greenery, real plants, so much better, so much better. But I just like the look of it. I know it's something to dust, but y'all, it's worth it to me. It's worth it to me. I just realized this is a really huge haul. <laughs> okay. Something else practical that I actually did need. New um, new handhelds for my bathrooms. Um, so these are the colors that I use in all throughout my house, you guys. This is, like I said, this is kind of a signature color for me. All shades of this. And so, um, I, these are so, like, these felt so fluffy to me. <laughs> I should get some bath towels in this, but I'm going to be honest. All of my bath towels are white. I always get just white bath towels. I don't know why, but I do. So, but this is like what hangs, you know, on the little hand towel rack. So, yeah. So, this these were $12.99 for two. And then this, I just loved that color. And these were also $12.99 for two. Got those at Home Goods. This is hilarious. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, I'm almost embarrassed to show you this, but it's okay. It's actually okay. So, as I was unwrapping this, it was heavy and everything. And I'm like, what is this? I don't remember what this is. <laughs> It's another candle for that same spot. So evidently, I really had that in my mind and for some reason forgot that I got this and got this one at Home Goods. And it's beautiful. It doesn't have a lot of smell. It was 
$9.99. Let's see if it says what the scent is because you don't really smell it all that much. It's a sand and fog. It says berry currant. I don't really smell it, but y'all, I think it's beautiful. And because of the little cut glass, I think when it's lit, it's going to shimmer really nice, reflect really pretty. So I'm not upset that I got two because guess what? I'll use this one or this one. I'll switch them out and, you know, the containers are both beautiful. So I'm hoping I can save the containers and continue to use them with other candles. You know what I mean? Just put votives down in there or something. I don't know. Or this, I mean, honestly, this, if, if I can save this container, I can see using this on my night table to put my rosary beads in or for jewelry or all kinds of things, you guys. And this just a beautiful jar. I love it. I, I, I just love it. Yeah. Okay. That, that was kind of embarrassing. It's what I call a happy accident. Okay. This I'm thinking about putting on the tiered tray in the laundry room as well. It just says smile. It just says smile. <laughs> You know, and it was on clearance. It was only $5. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love things like that. You see them and you're just like, you know, I could see myself walking into the laundry room going, oh, and then see that and go, okay, Melissa. Be grateful you have clothes to wash. Be grateful you have a washing machine that works. Be grateful that you are able to wash your clothes. Y'all, I don't know. I'm in a mood today. I don't know. I'm just feeling very happy today, you guys. Okay. This one, I'm either going to put in here um, or I'm going to put it, um, I have a, I use this room as my YouTube studio and as an office, uh, my desk, you know, this that I'm sitting at right here. This is a desk that I use uh, to work, but I also have a little office nook out in the house right off of my kitchen. And sometimes I sit there, it's kind of tucked away, hidden away. And sometimes I sit there to do work or read or, you know, whatever. Um, so... I love this. I love birds. I love what this says, dream. And you know I love the color. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was on sale too. I can't read the tag. Oh, this one was $10. Isn't that cute? And I may put it in here because it would look pretty in here. I'm just looking around going, oh yeah, it would look really pretty in here. <clears throat> All of a sudden, I got a frog in my throat. Okay. We're almost there, you guys. All right, so the last thing I have is something for little Miss Moo Moo back there. You see her? Okay, this first thing, sorry, it's noisy. This first thing is a little um, harness for her. She normally wears a collar, although she hasn't recently. Um, and I don't take her for walks yet, ever, honestly. Um, I, I should, but when you've got four of them and three of them are humongous, it's it's hard to, to go for walks. Although I have a double harness for Lucy and Ivy that when we walk them, we put them on a double harness together and then Boomer is by himself because Boomer, he's bad about walking. He pulls really bad. And so Scott usually takes him and I take both the girls, but we've never thrown Maisie into the mix and I'm not sure we will, but... This is for something else. So I take them um, once every couple of months to the groomers and they all four go the same day. Well, um, Scott and I usually do it together because honestly it takes, usually it takes, well, it doesn't necessarily take two people. It takes two people to load them and unload them. But um, usually I go because, you know, we both go because Scott will drive and I put Maisie in my lap. I just hold Maisie in my lap. And honestly, y'all, that's not actually very safe. If we were to have an accident or something like that, Maisie would go flying. So that's really not a good option. And I'll be honest, my big dogs aren't harnessed either. And I need to figure out a way to harness them too. That makes me so nervous every time we go. Scott thinks I'm crazy. He's like, Melissa. I'm like, I know, but if something happened, I wouldn't, you know? So I am looking at getting them just not, I'll show you what I got her, but just something that I can harness them to the seatbelt to keep them from flying. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that's what this is for to use with this when she's in the car, but she's so little, I don't want to buy just a seat harness. So she gets her own booster seat. <laughs> I've already uh, taken it apart because I wanted to see how to work it in my car, but this is the idea, you guys. 
So they sit down in the little bucket and then you harness them to it. So, you know, they, they're not going to, you know what I mean? They're not going to go far. They may jump a little if the car came to a sudden stop, but they're not going to go flying. And it's not attached to their collar. And that's the thing. Never attach a harness and a car to their collar because that could choke them. So always on like a harness on their chest on the back ring is what I've been told. So anyway, so I got both of these at Home Goods. I've been looking for something like this, to be quite honest, and I, I never thought to look at a place like Home Goods. It was only $19, you guys. So I think that was pretty good. I hope it works. And then this was $9.99. That's it, you guys. I think I did it all. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I get to go put it all out. All right, so after I get it all out, I'll do a little video and I'll show y'all at the end. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this shopping haul and my story time. And I know that it was, I was very talky today. So I hope I wasn't too talky. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day today. And until I get back together again with you, you stay safe, you stay well, and I'll see you next time.